so here we are with Audrey, and this is like giant recreationville. I mean, it's, <laughs> things have changed so much since the last time we were here, and they're always changing. And yes. I happen to know that there's one project that hasn't been done yet Not that yet. you've been thinking about for years. For years. And so um, could you show us, like, mm. what the concept is going to be? I, yeah. Mango land. Over there, we see it. Over there, <laughs> far, far away. Yeah. But so close, I can really see it. So, like, right here we have cold protection. Right, that's uh, my little 30 by 50 baby. Yeah, yeah, that's hardly like worth that. mentioning. Man. That's just so small. Yeah, it's just <laughs> keeping my little babies in the 45 gallon pots that are bursting at the seam to get in the ground. But I, I have a USDA grant that will help me put up a greenhouse. And now that I have the ability, I'm putting in a huge greenhouse back here. So how big will the greenhouse be? It was supposed to be 48 by 60. I'm trying to, and then I've gone back and forth based on my mania with that one being 30 by 50 and I filled it up so fast, I'm thinking, 30 by 48 probably isn't going to be big enough. So I might end up having to get two 30 by 48 <laughs> and kind of connect them in the middle with so like a like little. A, it would be like a 60 by 48 or? or yeah, 60 yeah. by 48, but two different structures spread out maybe 10, 12 foot apart. Oh, so it's not not like connected, but it's because I'm thinking if it were connected, it might be easier to heat everything. It might be, but in the middle, I could have like a little retreat area between the two greenhouses. Oh, man, you are going to have so many chill areas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't even like to go inside the house. I find myself standing at the kitchen door saying, I want to go outside. <laughs> but I have to do inside things. Yeah. Like I have, you know, I haven't decorated for Christmas. Huh? I have I have about six loads of clothes. They're on the chair. I can pick them out. But I'm, I want I prefer to be outside. I need this vitamin D. But I have considered putting them together. But then keeping them separate with a little chill area in the middle. That's if, if I can afford to pull it off. But there's a, at least going to be a 30 by 48 going up. Well, you don't have to put them in at the same time. No, I can do one at a time. And if I plan it right and leave enough space and just continue to evolve. If I get the response I think I'm going to get, when I hear someone's accent, I wait for the last minute to drop the bomb about how many mango trees I have. Mango trees in Marion <laughs> County, where? And I leave them in suspense with, you're here soon. You're here real soon. And they can't believe that I'm actually growing mango trees in Marion County. So if I get a response that, that I think, and I'm able to sell some of the fruit, God knows I have all the top tier varieties. And if I can put them in enough space and keep them under eight, 10 feet tall with some good pruning, I think there's a market up here for them. Oh, there definitely is a market. Uh, once people taste those, those mm -hmm. good varieties, they... And I have mangoes have late in the season, it. late in the season. I need a kick, I need a keep, I need another Kent, and I need a Beverly, and I need another Needlem. See how the list just keeps growing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need those more late yet. seasons. Yeah. Now, even though I had fruit on the tree to October, uh -huh. imagine what would happen if I had a Beverly, or if, if I had that that second that late season fruit. Mm -hmm. I would. It, I might still have fruit in no November, December. That's crazy. Yeah, even though it's cold, and it's like now it's November. I've never had trees bloom this early, but I have seven varieties in bloom already. I meant with panicles starting to come out that I've, I'm on my second week of copper. But this is, this is gonna be, um, I want it to, so, when I roll up the sides and you go in, I just want your mind to be blown. So, and I'm just imagining rows of trees. Now I won't plant this like I planted elsewhere, which was just random, I want this tree yeah, here, I, I want this, this one, one here. Over, there was in. no rhyme or reason and I got past. This one will have rows. They will be straight in line. <laughs> Dripper every so many feet. But um, I already have a little flower. This is where I used to sleep at out here. Oh, yeah, this is uh -huh. upside this was down the bed here. Yep, this is my upside down bed. So but you got your bed, and then uh, it's about 
here that you might have one and then down further? Well, I'm going to leave this part open for trucks to be able to come through and unload. Mm -hmm. And from here forward will be the structure. Oh, okay. So it'll be in full sun. And I'm going this direction so that you have more even sunlight on all of the trees. Excellent. But I, I need to be able to exit um, and be able to bring my boat, come straight through here, park the boat on the other side of the shed. So uh, when do you think you'll start that project? Hmm, probably not to the turn of the year. Probably not to the turn of the year. I want to I want to shift the attention on my interior decorating skills next. So I, I need, I have several rooms I want to paint. I'm trying to stay out of. Plus it gets cold. You don't want to, you know, be working outside. I, today is a perfect day. But it is, it's gorgeous today. There's going to be today. some cold coming up. Yes. And then I, I'm, I'm out here most of the time because I keep looking at the plum tree that I grafted from my mom. Yeah. It's doing excellent. So I should Great. get fruit this year. I just gathered my last handful of muscadine grapes this late in the season. I still have muscadine grapes on that grapevine. Great. Well, everything looks wonderful. And <laughs> good luck with everything. And thanks. thanks so much for arranging this perfect day <laughs> and <laughs> showing like, us a, all so, sorts of things. Uh, well, I can't wait for you guys to come back when the structure's up, trees are planted, and either, preferably them dripping with fruit. But we'll take in full bloom because there's nothing like a musk, you know, of just met. That's why I like coming to your place when the trees are in bloom, just mangoes, this smells so good. Yeah, well, good luck with everything. Thank you, thank everything you very much. Everything looks great. All right, appreciate it. <laughs>